Hello friends, welcome back to the next session on service operations management. Now let's begin with our learning. In this particular session, we'll be understanding and dealing with the concepts of impact of innovations in hospitality industry. The learning objectives. At the end of this particular session, the learners will be able to understand what do we mean by the impact of innovations in the hospitality industry? What is the importance of impact of hospitality in the innovations? And lastly, what are the various factors that affect the impact of innovations in the hospitality industry? Now let's begin with our learning. The impact of innovations on technology has been seen on all the sectors or all the areas. Technology plays a very important or crucial role when we need to consider or take into account various business activities or transactions. These particular transactions are related to the day-to-day -day operational activities of a business firm and a certain organization. In a technological advancements or innovations, they have a significant impact on traditional industry that is the goods and the services that we are delivering. In case of an hospitality industry, the hotel service that has been delivered to a certain customer, that is right from the customer receipt to the, the customer that goes or check-ins or check-outs from a particular consideration, is been understood in a very effective way. And the technology has been or taken into account about how we can minimize the various efforts that have been undertaken and how we can provide a better qualitative experience to the customers. So the role of technology is very wide and it's uh, bringing a massive change in the quality of service delivery to the customers. The various functions as to the behavioral functions and the task of hotel managers and service staff has been increased with the involvement of technology as a part of a service factor in the hospitality industry. The hospitality industry can provide the various services in online or through the technological modes, that is e-payment system, the online distributions, the interfaces platforms or the chatbots which are available, available the hostel, uh, hostel PMs, that is program management system, and lastly, materials costing and accounting. So every data and information can be shared online. And from those particular considerations, our technological advancements and connectivity with all the departments, along with the customers, industries, and governments, or the people or the public at large can be taken with the use of uh, industry or with the use of technology in this particular industry. The various hotels, uh, uh, F&B services, venues, clubs, and everything can be, comp can be comprising and be a part of a technology. Now let's understand what are the main processes that have been adopted with respect to the applications of the allied industries in the terms of hospitality industries. So the curve in this particular diagram shows about how various factors have been getting impacted in terms of an hotel industry and what is the impact of innovation. So well, the concept of innovators. So in case of an innovators, you can see here that a bell shape can be arranged or it can be organized with respect to how the service delivery is being undertaken to the customers. 25% of the, you know, 25% uh, as 2.5% are the innovators, wherein they always think of what's next. That is how evolving technology will impact us and how to prepare for it. So it's only 2.5% and rest of the people are already adopting a certain amount of technology. And hence the impact of technology as to how get how to get uh, how to get acquainted with it, what are the various precautionary measures and changes that needs to be undertaken, and how the impact or implications of the technology can be undertaken. The second perspective that is early adopters are around 13.5%, wherein they're focusing on advanced social media case studies, integration and return on investment or the involvement. So they are 13.5%, which forms a certain category or scenario about what is the interpretation of the other people. And based on the early adopters, the uh, observations of the previous users has been undertaken. And then the diffusion that is new acceptance of innovation has been undertaken. The early majority comprises of the 34%, wherein they always believe how best to align our social media efforts with businesses and the marketing strategy. So applications to the hospitality, commentators and blogosphere shows about 30% are the early majority users and who uh, try to identify their activities or the technological considerations with respect to the efforts that have been taken on social media and much more of wide coverage for the marketing strategies. The late majority again forms are the perspective of the 34%, wherein how social media works and what are the various basics that needs to be undertaken. All those factors have been considered by the late majority people. The last perspective laggards are forming for around 16%, wherein they comprises of the social media is a waste of it and they do not want to waste their time on those particular perspectives. So they are not adopters of a certain technology, they are not adopters of the innovations, and accordingly they move towards the traditional mode of business. And hence, 
the process that one needs to follow for diffusion of innovation is how the people transform one from one phase to another phase and at what level they have their applicability for the various processes in the business organizations. Now let's understand why innovation is important in the hospitality industry. Innovation is important because they need to identify what is it is performing or what the activities have been transforming in the short run as well as in the long run. Although most of the service providers in these particular cases, that is the hospitality related services, are doing their always best to effectively deliver the quality of services to the people. But the rapid changes of technology, rapid changes of the need, want and desire of a particular individual, preferences, habits and tastes of, taste of the people, it is also coming into a certain perspective that how do we deliver or how do we cater the best qualitative services to the individuals. And from those particular perspectives, one needs to understand as to how various innovative tools and techniques can be applied and the better hospitality services can be delivered to the customers. The innovation in the hospitality industry or in any sector enables the hotel operators to stand out from the competition. So you can easily bifurcate or differentiate about what quality of services has been provided by one firm and what quality of services are been provided by the other firm. So customer meet their expectations and we can attract the new customers also. So accordingly, we can always identify what are the needs and requirements of a certain customer and what efforts that we can take to satisfy those particular needs and fulfill it in accordance. A positive experience will not only impact a guest stay, but also influence their behavior and online reviews after their trip. So a positive review that have been given by the customers, it always takes in consideration about what were their experiences, how do they feel about it, and what inputs or takeaways can be provided to them. So these particular consideration also uh, makes into a, or takes into account about how various participants can be available in the business organization, how we can increase the customer experience as to the number of stay or the duration of stay in a particular hotel, and more a number of qualitative and quantitative services can be provided to these people. So the more people or the guests stay into our hotel, the more number of services we can provide to those people. And accordingly, the brand association and recognition of the hospital hospitality industry can be created according, which in turn will create a good behavior and a composition of a relationship CRM, that is customer relationship management with those particular peoples. And we can have a certain bonding with those people. Now, in case of a particular feedback, which has been undertaken by those particular consideration, we can have a physical feedback in forms of a questionnaire or in particular survey, or the online reviews can also be undertaken about what do they feel about the services that we have delivered to them and what are their opinions about the services accepted. Now, let's understand what are the various some examples of the service innovations. The various examples of the service innovations are number one, product use enhancement. So what are the various enhancements that have been used or made applicable? for the usage of a certain product, the maintenance plans that the organization has as to the applicability in the short run as well as in the long run as to if any case arises as to a part of a maintenance, then what is the plan B of a certain organization? The support that has been received from the customers for the service delivery and the exchange of goods and services and exchange of commodities with the people. So that is an example of customer support. Information and education, we must always simultaneously see that in order to increase the service innovation, a better and qualitative information must be shared with the customers and the customers should be made educated and aware about what are the various products or the services that we are offering. In the return, the customer should also inform what does they want and accordingly what services they are expecting from an organization or a particular firm, which will help the organization to deliver a better and qualitative services in the in their duration of stay and association with a particular hotel. The fifth and the sixth perspectives are the warranties and guarantees. So in case of a warranty, which is stipulation to the main purpose of the contract, the breach of which would give rise to claim the damages, but not treat the contract as repudiated. So warranty is essential a component. And if a warranty is not been fulfilled, then accordingly, the damages can be provided and the repairs and maintenance can be undertaken for a certain product that has been delivered and guarantee as to a certain assurance as to the part of payment, wherein one party is acting on behalf of the other party and giving a certain assurance that the contract will be performed or it will be fulfilled as per the terms and conditions. Now let's take an example in this particular case of a modern hospitality services. So in case of a modern hospitality services, it can be divided into various considerations, that is the guest facing system, the hospitality services, and the in-room IoT services. So in case of a guest facing systems, we may have various platforms, that is a thin client terminal, a in-room tablet, which is made available to the customers in their room itself. A chaos can be arranged at the reception counter. 
the cell phone can be provided that is a personal cell phone or a mobile phone can be given and it can be act as an operator's control the next thing we have is a remote control that can be provided wherein with the help of a particular remote control the customer can use those particular facilities and services and accordingly access the technology that is available and lastly the point of sale term so accordingly if the customer wants to purchase anything we can have a pos system and on the basis of pos system the terminal can establish a payment effective mechanisms for the payments considerations the in room iot sensor sensor that can be provided is with respect to the temperature the humidity that is control on climate as to increase or decrease in particular temperature uh, balances in the humidity the ambience of light that is a particular remote control or a particular sensors can be provided for either on uh, turning on or turning off the lights increasing the either the power of a certain bulb or a particular tube or a particular uh, luminar and so on and the motion that is the motion that is with respect to a fan that has been operating so the ceiling fan or the table fan that has been provided or the ac that is air condition that has been provided on the movement of a certain motion the operations can be undertaken in a technological way the another example of hospitality services that can be undertaken is the concept of housekeeping that is the cleaning and the room uh, upkeep maintenance the room services that is free delivery of certain goods services and commodities which has been provided in the room itself the payment services as to the cash and credit as a part of the consideration and with respect to the point of sale terminal uh, various machines which are available of a swipe nature or an upi payment system interface can be adopted <clears throat> in case of an loyalty programs various or uh, discounts premiums or the certain concessions can be provided for certain customers if they are a regular customers then accordingly various programs can be or organized and percentage of discount can be given the guided tours we can guide we can guide or we can provide a various guide tours and accordingly they can arrange for a guide for a certain people and accordingly the tours can be organized for the short term duration or for the long stay of a particular guest local attractions as to various small scale activities can be organized to create the interest for the people either to either to the old age people or either to the children or the kids who have been accompanied with the guest the targeted advertisements that is we can have various kiosk advertisement on various uh, brochures pamphlet leaflets road signs alco signs neon signs and so on the next perspective is the keyless entry so accordingly we can have a smart card or we can have a fingerprint accession or an automatic door lock accession which which the keyless entry into a particular room can be provided and the customer can have a better experience of the technological advancements the another concept of climate control lightning control and automatic check ins can be provided and these are the various concepts in which the hospitality services can be delivered in a very better and effective way and the hospitality industry can provide qualitative services to the guest who are coming in to avail those services now let's understand what are the various innovations in the hospitality industry the various innovations in the hospitality industry such examples have been provided in this particular slide that is phone as a key card so we can have a key card which is associated with your phone and once you tap a certain button on the phone then accordingly the door opens or the door gets locked mobile self check in where a particular application can be uh, or uh, prepared or it can be managed by a hotel and accordingly every activity that needs to be undertaken with respect of an hotel can be done through a mobile phone that is an application and accordingly various orders can be done and can be provided the mobile booking so a booking of a particular a machine a booking of a particular room or booking of a restaurant or a certain food or a, any commodity that uh, that we are needing it can be done with the help of a mobile phone self service check in kiosks wherein a various kiosks machines can be made available wherein you can self service check in and accordingly you can check out from those considerations lobby media panels so various entertainments or concerns with respect to the lobby media management should be undertaken the music should be uh, there in a silent mode or in a very uh, smoothing experience should be provided for the uh, customers or for the people or for the guests in the lobby areas electronic luggage tags so accordingly if a particular luggage is been is needed to be carried then certain tags with respect to the hotels needs to be attached to the luggage and it should be electronically tagged by various barcodes and the numbers bringing your own device so accordingly if a particular customer forgets to bring its own device as to the charger as to the laptop and so on then such facilities should be provided to the people so to the individuals and we must have such innovation tools and techniques in the hospitality industry bringing your own content platform so accordingly a customer can bring his own content platform and an access various goods services and commodities or if he forgets to those consideration then the hotel industry can provide such content platforms to them 
the smartphone boarding passes can also be given wherein the boarding passes can be very related to the smartphone and accordingly we need not to carry the physical or the paper based smart boarding passes hotel service optimization system that is to reduce the operational activities in the business organization or in a particular hotel and such optimization systems can also be used and lastly guest device connectivity tools that is how to be connect with a certain guest and for those connectivity various tools applications softwares and technological advance advancements can be used now let's understand what are the various ways to improve the hostel hotel guest satisfaction and increase their returns or stay so personalize personalize and personalize we need to see that we always keep on upgrading and personalizing the satisfaction that is available and the upkeep maintenance of all those activities is needed to be undertaken in a particular hotel and only when the upkeep maintenance of such activities are been undertaken we can uh, create various concerns as to how do we retain the guests in the business organization or a particular hotel offer freebies and complimentary services so various freebies that have been required discounts premiums coupons that have been required and complimentary services which the customer is expecting it should be provided free of cost and accordingly the services should be delivered to the customer on time implement in room technology so every customer that he is uh, expecting certain side of side type of services should be available in a common arena as well as in the common all as well as in their personal or the private rooms also so implementing of in room technology that is the room must have the inbuilt technology which a customer is expecting and every room must be sophisticated and technologically based wherein there are no hurdles for their connectivity or the ease of their doing business or ease of stay being proactive so always the hotel management and employees must be very proactive in providing the efficient and qualitative services to the people who are visiting your organization and accordingly various proactive measures should be undertaken to deliver the effective and efficient services rewarding the repeated guests so the guests who are of a repeated nature all those particular rewards should be provided to them and accordingly various uh, repeated uh, guests should be awarded as and when the time needs so a good qualitative service and customer relationship management needs to be maintained with those people offer multiple communication channels that is texting voicing facebook message and so on so accordingly a particular business organization that is an hotel industry must be available on all the various social media platforms and the services either which is required for texting voicing and facebook messenger that is various chatbots all those services should be made available and there should be proper connectivity with those considerations now let's understand what are the various some technological challenges that hospitality industry is facing with respect to the technological challenges the major challenge that one has to focus on the hospitality industry arises is the availability of certain amount of softwares so support and service of the software is essentially important and hence the hotel chain industry faces a major challenge as to the part of software that they are implementing or that they are using so as hotel chain grows through our acquisition of new builds their technology partner needs to assure them that they can scale greater heights and they can acquire or get acquainted with any type of technology which is been into their systems there are various softwares which are made available in the particular market but at some times what happen those particular softwares are not affordable and they are quite expensive expensive so a small scale industry or small scale hotel will not be able to acquire those consideration but in those considerations the software which are available in a market in the very good consideration and affordable rates that must be preferred and better qualitative services must be provided to the people solutions which have been catered for hotel companies that offer multiple brands flexibility to provide both cloud and on premise solutions should be also undertaken so catering services of the best possible way should be undertaken and we must only not only restrict to one brand but different types of branding services must also be associated with a certain hotel so technological challenges as to the association brand value composition the market share percentage plays a very important role in which the decision of a certain customer is been undertaken as to whether to accept a particular service or whether to not accept a particular service and hence in these particular cases the flexibility comes into the mind of the customers as to whether he should go for a certain service or whether he should not go for a certain service now let's understand what the these technologies that could be applied to a restaurant that represents at a dollar 3t tam so uh, there there is an example which is been applicable for an hotel industry about uh, that is in a particular restaurant which services are being provided so in the initial stage at the front end level you can see various delivery apps are been available and in the kiosk that is in the or entry store of a particular restaurant the self ordering and payment system is also available the additional services that you can see is within a particular store there is a proper place for movement of goods and services movement of people movement of employees and so on 
a separate uh, space has been provided for the din uh, dinner or dining or for refreshments or a small tea uh, that is a high tea that needs to be undertaken. We have the various contact, uh, contactless payment uh, systems or mechanisms. The POS terminals for payment processing is also available. The various machines have been installed and so on. The concept of internet uh, IoT, that is internet uh, IoT of internet of things has been also used and implemented. And it is a better effectivity of technological advancements. The concept of automation and robotics, traceability and food waste, inventory management, labor management systems, advanced analytics, restaurant management system, restaurant chaos and variables are also available. And it's a good example of wherein a dollar three team TAM can be applied. And accordingly, we can say that it is a best example of how do we represent a particular hotel. So in a particular hotel or a particular restaurant, these activities have been undertaken and it is necessary to ensure that all those activities have been conducted in a very better and effective way. A proper sequence and series of activities needs to be undertaken based on which one can easily identify and consider as to how can a sequence or coordinated or series of activities can be undertaken and in what way those activities can be performed in a restaurant. Now let's understand what are the various steps to implementing a service innovation. So, so technology and the rise of the smart hotel is very essentially important. And one has to see that when we want to increase the sort of service innovation, there should be an implementation or access of technology at a certain level. The impact of internet marketing and distribution plays a very important role. And only when the internet marketing has been taken in an aggressive way, we can say that the marketing has been very good in a certain consideration and we can effectively deliver qualitative and quantitative services to the customers. The sophisticated consumers who wants a hotel to connect with a certain community is essentially important required. And on those particular basis, we can deliver the sophisticated customers a better amount of qualitative services. Combining business and pleasure travel. So simultaneously, we in order to see that we have an implementation of service innovation in the business organization, we must combine the business and the pleasure travel together. So if a customer is coming for a business trip, we must always plan for a pleasure travel for them. And accordingly, all these services right from their travel journey from their home to the uh, respective business location to the return journey towards their home, that is reaching this uh, back to their home or particular office should be planned in a very effective way and accordingly all the combinations and options must be provided and their journey should be very pleasant and it should be very expressive or a learning one so from this case we can understand that the act of digital check-in streamlines the guest experiences and it is always very necessary to be see that how we implement all the technological advancements that are available in the guest in the room of a particular guest so based on their availability of technology, tools, services, and so on, the guest gets very comfortable and accordingly their uh, presence in per particular way, in a particular stay or in a particular room is always very flexible. It's very easy and accordingly they can understand about how the technological advancements have been taken in a particular room. So technology also makes staff, their staff more effective and from those considerations, there is proper coordination or series of activities that has been undertaken in the business organization as well as in the service industry. The hospitality industry is a broad category of fields with which we can include the various services such as lodging, food, drink, event management, event planning, theme parks, travel, and tourism, and so on. So it includes hotel, tourism agencies, restaurants, and bars, and so on. So in this way, various activities and services can be delivered along with a particular lodging industry. And accordingly, in case of an hospitality, it covers a wide range of activities. But in order to deliver the better and effective services, we must ensure that all those services have been delivered in a very qualitative way and those qualitative services are helping the customers in the long run. And with those considerations, we must understand and take into account about how those services have been delivered and they are always qualitative in nature, which will create a better relationship with the organization and the people in the short run as well as in the long run. Now let's summarize what we have learned in this particular session. In this particular session, we have understood or learned what is the impact of innovations in the hospitality industry, what are the various activities that have been performed under the impact of innovations in the hospitality industry? And lastly, what are the various benefits of impact of innovations in the hospitality industry? I hope you must have enjoyed the learning in this particular session. We'll stay connected and we'll continue with our learning. Thank you for your patience listening. Thank you.